So this is a amateur radio that was built by a fellow in his basement in Chatham, New Jersey in the middle of the 1950s. This is only the second amateur radio that was able to do that earth, moon, earth um, bounce. And they use that for the one here? No, no, he used it in his home. Oh, he used it in he his had, home? He had a, an antenna set up and he was able to pump enough power out to, to get a signal out through the atmosphere to the... So did he, he had an antenna? Like, yeah. Really? Well, that in his... This is the part that actually makes the radio signal, right? So it's a 1300 megahertz. Oh, that one? Yeah, this, this, this section. It's like a transformer or something? Yeah, well, magnetron. Yeah, but, oh, okay. but yeah, 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 it's like a transformer. Kind of reminds me of microwave magnetron. It, it, it is, that, that's exactly what it is. It's, oh, okay. Just think of it as a big, a thousand watt. I mean, how many watts is your, uh, your, your microwave? I hope it's not a thousand watts. I think it's more than a thousand nowadays, <laughs> right? Um, but this is this is your this is your um, this is one from 1950s, mm -hmm. right? So this is when they were first starting to make them, um, and it, it had a whole bunch of complicated vacuum tube controllers. So now a lot of all of our stuff is really almost all of it is solid state. Back then it was all tubes. Hi, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button, and also subscribe to this channel. For more exclusive content about this museum, check in the description below where you will find the YouTube channel of the museum. Better yet, if you're in the area, go check out the museum. It's one thing to see it on YouTube, it's another thing to see in person. Thanks for watching.